Hello there everyone, Jedi Brick here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at set 75358 Tenu Jedi Temple. This set has 124 pieces and retails for $40 here in the United States. And that's pretty expensive for what you're getting for 124 pieces. This is a 4 plus set. And what you see is kind of what you get with this set. There's nothing really exceptional like crazy with it. But these figures are pretty much the main reason I bought this set. I also am probably going to do a mock with this, like making an actual Jedi Temple. But that will be its own video. But taking a look at the front of this box, you have this yellow stripe right here. Which also comes on some of the other prequel style sets. It's weird how they didn't give this set its own color because it isn't really prequels. It's more High Republic, but I don't really know. That's just kind of something I noticed. And it is a 4 plus set. You can see that right there. And this is from the Young Jedi Adventures TV show. And I think it's available on Disney Plus. And taking a look here at the back, you can see some of the rest of the build here at the back of the Jedi Temple, as well as some of the other like little side builds with the speeder and this sort of archway with some blocks right there. You can also see your three figures as well as their lightsabers. And you can see some more accessories that come in the set, as well as some more pictures of the set right there. You do get some of that side art right here on the side, with the Young Jedi Adventures right on there, as well as more of the figures doing something right there. And right here on the top, you also have one of the other minifigures for the scale. But yeah, let's take a look at this. So starting up here with our first minifigure, this is Master Yoda. And this is a different version of Yoda that we've been getting over the years. He comes in this slightly lighter lime green color instead of his usual olive green, that like darker green that we're used to. And that's a change that's only going to be featured for this version of the minifigure. Think of it as like the older style Clone Wars style minifigures where they had the more realistic, hideous looking faces. This is kind of the equivalent to that for these new shows. He has those bigger sort of cartoon style eyes, but it is a brand new mold for the head as well. And you can actually see right here with this ear that it's slightly bent like that. And that is intentional. That is the way it is depicted on the box. And that is more accurate to the movies and whatnot. But I do like this version of Yoda. He comes in this white robe that is like very High Republic style. That's kind of what they're going for with this set and these shows. With this really High Republic sort of theme. You don't get a whole lot of detailing here on that torso. But it is a very simple, elegant looking white with some gold trim on that torso. All around it looks like a really good figure. I do like this mold for the head a lot more than what we're usually getting. So I hope they use this mold for some future Yodas. But let's look at the other figs. Up next here we have Liz Soleil, and this is a very brand new figure. We get to see this really awesome looking new hair piece in that dark purple. That is brand new for this figure that is a new mold. And that is just an incredible headpiece and how accurate it is to the show. I just really like that they went the extra mile with this figure and made that brand new mold just for this figure. We're probably never going to see that again unless they make more sets with this figure. But I can't really see that happening. I think this is really is just going to be a one-off sort of thing. You do get to see a lot of that really good detail in there on that torso. You can see right here she has a holder for her lightsaber. And you get a really nice print. It's not the Jedi logo. It's like sort of her own emblem. We also get to see that on the other figure, but we also get this really nice yellow cape, and that is the newer sort of spongy cloth capes. And taking a look underneath that, you do get some more printing. That purple belt, and that goes all the way around. Taking a look at that alternate face now, you can see it's a much more happier face with her eyes closed and a really bright looking smile. And you also get that really nice purple lightsaber with a gold hilt. That's something you don't really see very often, and it's nice to get some more purple lightsabers if you have a sort of Jedi army that you're wanting to build up, and you want them to have some purple lightsabers. But now, let's take a look at the next figure. The final figure for the set is Kai Brightstar, and he, just like Liz, has a very brand new headpiece for his hair. It's sort of this mohawk piece on the top, and on both sides, it's completely smooth. I really like the way that came out and this 
we probably will see in other places. I could see this coming out in a city set or something later on the line because it's much more of a practical piece. He also does have that sort of holster just like the other figure did for her lightsaber. And you also get that orange spongy cape just like on the last figure but in a different color. You also get a really nice green looking lightsaber, same as Yoda. He also does have the gray mid legs just like Liz. I really like him in this color because it gives you more options if you want to use it for customs or something else. But the detail on these torsos are just amazing on the other figure as well. You get to see these really nice looking robes. They just really have that High Republic sort of feel, which is what this whole thing is going for after all. And taking a look at the back print, you can pretty much expect the same thing just like on the other figure. You get that really nice belt printing all the way around, as well as the tunic printing going back. Taking a look at his second face, you can see he has a much more scared look, and that could be for when he's balancing on those blocks, or maybe he just happened to be trapped during Order 66. Who knows? Alright, so now with all those figures out of the way, let's take a look at the build. So we'll start off here with this speeder, and this is a really nice speeder. It is very simple, just like everything in this set. It is a 4 plus set. It doesn't take too long to build. I think this whole thing took me maybe 15 minutes at most. It is very nice. I do like these fins right here on the front with that really nice red. And yeah, there's not too much to say about this. There is no control panel, unfortunately, for like pretend to be like the figures are typing on it or anything. But you can place all three minifigures on there if you really try. The, the capes on the two Jedi figures do get in the way. But you can sort of them underneath if you wanted to and you could throw Yoda right there on top since he can't really sit because he does have those small legs you can have them all on there doesn't look the best especially with those capes but if you wanted to take them off you could and just have them all on there you also do have a clip on the back to place a lightsaber you don't get any more on the speeder so you would only have to put one there but there are some in the other parts of this set. Next up here we have this little archway and it does come with these two little boxes that have a sort of little technic piece on there to make it rock back and forth. And this is to test the Jedi's sort of balance. So you can throw Kai on there and he doesn't have that worried face for this reason. So you can have him sort of rock back and forth like he's trying to balance himself on these, bro these rocks. And you can also take them off for play. Now, I do like this archway a lot. I do like the part usage here, and it does add a little bit more to the set, especially when you're paying $40 for it. You should really get something extra for it, and I think this really does add a little bit more to it. You can have these flower pieces right on there on top, and it just adds a little more detail to the set. So the final sort of little side build that comes in this set is this little lightsaber training droid. I really like the dome that they use for this. This is a brand new um, print for this dome piece and it's supposed to just be like a little droid that they can lightsaber duel with and it can move back and forth because it's on this sort of hinge and it does come with a blue lightsaber so you can take Liz here you can have her sort of go back and forth with it and it can spin all the way around because it is on a sort of little technic piece there at the bottom all right and here is the sort of bigger part of the set this is why I bought it mostly, along with the minifigures. Here's the actual Jedi Temple, and we've never gotten a Jedi Temple until now in LEGO, and it's pretty underwhelming. I mean, for a 4 plus set, you can't really expect much out of these. They're made for babies. Like, the build was nothing complicated, but my favorite part of this set, we'll start right up here at the top, is this emblem piece. This is a, a printed um, 3x4, I, don't, I think that's the actual official name, but this is a printed piece with the Jedi album right there on the top. And behind it, you get some like little rock work. I really like that. And I'm actually going to build a mock using some of the parts and pieces from this set to make an even better Jedi Temple. So stay tuned for that. That'll come out hopefully at some point this week. But moving back down, you also have some more of these panels here. Those are also printed. They don't do stickers in 4 Plus sets. But this whole thing is just kind of giving me a Yavin 4 sort of vibe, like the temples that were on Yavin in A New Hope. And I really like that. It has like that nature sort of feel. And also on top you have this little bit of like 
a tree or a shrub. And you also get a lot of that on the bottom too with the vines and the potted plants. And right here on the side, you have a rock that's kind of floating there. You have this little clear piece right there. And you can stick Yoda right there and kind of make it look like he's levitating the rock. You don't get a whole lot of space right here either on this little courtyard. There are two potted plants right there, like I said. And there's not a whole lot of other things for the minifigures to do out here. But taking a look on the inside, it's just as empty as the outside. But taking a look right here, you do have a kyber crystal that you can let your minifigures use and they can build a lightsaber. And you do have two more of these clips, just like on the speeder, so you can take the two other lightsabers and you can stick them right in there. And here on the bottom, there is a little kitchen area, which I wasn't expecting to see in a Jedi Temple because I was, I don't know, there's just better things you can have in a Jedi Temple. But they have some blue milk right there, as well as a cookie on a sort of skillet. I'm not really sure why they went with a kitchen out of everything they could have in a Jedi Temple, like an archive, or maybe like another little training room or something. But they went with a kitchen. I don't really know why. I wish they didn't. But right here, we have two bunk beds, too. Those are for the two younglings. You can just move the ladder. You can put one of them on top. Now, it is pretty hard to get them in there because of that cape. The cape really does get in the way for most of the things in this set. But you can put them both in their bunks. And they do come out pretty easily because they have no studs to hold on to. But once you put the ladder back up, it is a little bit more challenging to, like, knock them out. So here's everything that you get in the set. And for $40, I have to say this really is not worth it. To put that in perspective, this year we also got the the new 332nd Battle Pack with 108 pieces, and that only retails for $20. Now, I'm not really a price-per-piece kind of guy. I don't really think that matters all too much. But for 124 pieces... For $40, I really wouldn't recommend this. Like I said, I bought this for the minifigures, as well as those printed pieces on the temple so I can build a mock for it. I also bought it so I could review it and get something out of it. But if you're not going to do anything like that, I would just brick link the pieces that you wanted out of the set if there are any. Like that Jedi Temple piece, I do like that emblem right there. I'm glad they went with that. But other than that, like I really wouldn't recommend this for anyone unless it was on really good clearance or something probably by next or maybe this christmas or something this would be on clearance because i don't really see many people going out to buy this set but if you are dying to get it and you want to pay full price for it go ahead i had a gift card so that's like why i went for it so i got it a few dollars off but for 40 bucks i really can't say this is all too worth it but if you want it go for it Hey everyone, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And a couple days ago, we did hit over 100 subscribers. So I want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking and leaving comments. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. And if you haven't already, um, join the Discord. Uh, some of you guys have been joining and it's great to interact with you guys. I share sneak peeks of videos before they come out. I just interact with you guys. And it's just a good time overall. So if you are interested, feel free to join that. I'll put the link in the description down below. And it's also on my homepage. And stay tuned for a sort of mock video that I'm going to use some of these pieces in. Um, I can't wait to do that. I'm really looking forward to it. I actually have a whole bucket of pieces right beside me. And I can't wait to get into that. But if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.